Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BC Plays here, and today, as you can see, we are on the Crew 2, and we're going to just be seeing how good this game is, and see if it is, you know, maybe a little bit better than the Crew Motor Fest, or maybe a little bit worse than the Crew Motor Fest. But yeah, let's just get straight into any event. I'm here in the Financial District in New York, and yeah, we're just going to be racing around and seeing if this game is still pretty decent for its time. I mean, it's still one of my race, uh, favorite racing games of all time, just because of the scale of the game and one, the amount of places you can visit and two, the amount of vehicles that you can actually drive. It is still a very good game in my eyes. It's definitely not the best in terms of like competition driving and stuff like that, but it's still decent. Obviously, if you do want a more realistic feeling racing game or racing simulator then you've got other games out there for that like Gran Turismo and F1 and stuff like that but this is a good arcade game or something you know for a casual player to play so definitely isn't the uh, the worst game in the world like come on this definitely isn't in Gran Turismo is it stuff like this but that's what makes this game sort of fun like you'd never hear any other racing game do this you've never seen a racing game except for burnout but come on burnout's like not really top tier anymore is it it's still a very very decent game back in the day but not anymore but yeah i just wanted to jump on to the crew too and just see how it felt and to be fair the vehicles they don't feel as bad as i initially thought they would they definitely don't feel like they do in the crew motor fest the crew motor fest has definitely changed the way the vehicles perform but I mean, it's still not bad, considering. It's definitely still usable, and you can definitely feel the effects of different vehicles. But it does still have that arcadey feel about it, where every vehicle, it just handles sort of the same in terms of grip levels and stuff like that. Obviously, you can change all of that now in the Crew Motor Fest. You can turn off traction control if you really want to. But I don't know, I'm just sort of getting a little bit bored of the Crew Motor Fest. That's probably shown in the lack of videos that I've been posting recently. There just isn't much for me to report on the Crew Motor Fest. Maybe I should actually dive into other games. It doesn't have to just be racing games, but there is other racing games I do want to test out out there and obviously report on. There's all the Need for Speeds, uh, like I said, Burnout. I don't have an Xbox, so I can't play Forza, but... I could still get Forza somehow. But yeah, the Crew Motor Fest right now just isn't doing it for me. I did have times like that on this game as well, but I sort of got through it a little bit easier. And I probably think that's the the fact that this game, I'll, I'll say it, it, did have better events. They were very similar, but the events in this game, they're just better structured out, I think, in my opinion. I just don't like the whole series thing that they have in the Crew Motor Fest and it sort of finds it hard to find any good events and I do find myself getting quite bored of the events I don't know if that's just because when the game came out I one sweated it out quite a lot and two I've probably grown up a little bit now whereas when the crew 2 came out I literally was still a little kid and I love this game and I to be fair still do love this game but you know when you're a kid you don't have the responsibilities of doing actual life stuff you can just sit home and play and play forever pretty much but i can't really do that with the crew motor fest so that's probably one reason why i've fallen out of love of it so quick but i still do like it and some of its aspects so i don't think i and like overall hate the game because i definitely don't but come on like I know it's not the best looking game in the world, but this is still insane to me how you can go from New York to Miami to LA to Chicago to Vegas. Like, it's crazy. Like, genuinely is crazy and obviously has some of the most iconic landscapes and structures in the whole of the United States as well. The Hoover Dam, um, the whole of the Vegas Strip, obviously the Golden Gate Bridge as well. So yeah, it's crazy that this is actually in one game and it does really improve the experience of the game as well. Just like cruising down a random street and just finding this compared to the island of Oahu. It isn't really 
that much to see once you've seen it once you sort of don't really want to see it again and there's not really much to explore anyway but anyway let's get into another event and let's get into one of my favorite events actually here we go the strip south i just spoke about the strip being in the game and this is probably one of the most played events for me i probably spent a good <laughs> I don't even want to know how long, good couple days are just on this event alone because it's just so easy and so quick to make money and then I found out that you don't actually need to play events to make money but <laughs> back in the day I didn't know much better but yeah this event is pretty good and there's just no events like this in the Crew Motorfest I don't feel like either there's not any quick easy events to do like this and if there is, they only pay like nine grand. Like who's playing an event for like stupid money? The money aspect in the crew motor fest does annoy me as well. It's very poor. Obviously there is workarounds and legal ways to make money in the game, which I uh, <laughs> might get into, but definitely isn't the best ways to make money by doing races. And obviously that's why you play a racing game to race but the races don't pay out anything that's the only annoying thing and yeah they do get repetitive in the crew too the events so, like i could definitely play this game for like an hour and then get bored but the crew motor fest events they just they drag on sometimes as well they do drag on they definitely do have the graphics on their side though as well because <laughs> that plane looks fresh out of roblox like it's it's definitely blocky but we've had this game for what six seven years now so we can't complain too much and some things that still look good but the crew motor fest does absolutely s destroy this game in terms of graphics but it's still not the worst looking game in the world there we go the strip south a very very good event and to be honest this game isn't as bad as i initially thought it definitely is still playable and i know there's quite a few things that have been added there's, I think, some new cars, I think. I think there's some new cars, some new vehicles. And there's also a new thing to the stories. I think they're called stories, aren't they? Where are they? Here we go. If you go on to activities and hobbies, there is, yeah, two new hobbies, I thought so. So this one gets you an Audi TT RS Roadster. And then this one gets you an RX-7 Evo Group B. Okay, they both look very, very nice. And you need to complete some mad skills I, I don't like the name of that at all mad skills but if you do want to get these vehicles you just need to complete these events and get stars pretty much like these other ones and there's also obviously I don't know why but I do enjoy the summits on the crew too a lot more than the crew motor fest the crew motor fest ones just feel they feel a bit incomplete whereas the crew the crew two ones just feel a lot more complete I don't know how to explain it because like it's very rare for me to complete a summit in the Crew Motor Fest, whereas on the Crew 2 I would just easily complete one, and I probably still could easily complete one. There's just not enough variety in events, I don't think, in the Crew Motor Fest ones, because look at this, we've got a Monster Truck event, a Monster Truck event, a Touring Car, Air Race, a Drift event, and a Hovercraft event. So you're always doing something different, which you're not doing in the Crew Motor Fest summit. And that's sort of the good thing about the summit. There's different events for you to try out, even if you don't like that certain discipline, then obviously you can test out new vehicles and you might like that new discipline. Or if there is a new vehicle, then you get to test out that new vehicle as well that is in a different discipline. So that's the one good thing about the Crew 2 summits. And obviously community races as well are on the Crew 2. I don't know if there's been any new ones, and as well there's let's check out some of the new vehicles i know there's a new brand there we go the gordon murray never heard of them in my life but they are quite new vehicles 2022 uh, 2023 and 2024 they sort of look like um sort of look like the the p1 and not the p1 the f1 and a senna not a senna <laughs> an f1 and a celine if they like had a baby that's what it, it sort of looks like there's also some other new vehicles spotted around in the rest of the groups as well there's this one as well which is a plane 
but yeah there's a few a couple of new vehicles to actually test out so i could test them out but yeah if you want to see some crew 2 content as well as crew uh, crew motor first content then leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see but yeah definitely i'm not stopping crew motor first uploads just because it is a newer game so i, I kind of need to still push crew motor first content but yeah just tell me what you want to see down below from the crew 2 and i'll make it happen and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video